So you may be wondering why this is a floating circle talking to you. Well, my internet connection is completely unreliable. Either you're gonna see me or you're gonna hear me. And what you need to hear today is who Halbrand is. And a spoiler alert, he's a big character. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting Geek Variance video. This is day 10 of our 30-day video challenge. We appreciate each and everyone coming along on this journey. If you haven't hit that lovely red subscribe button, the bottom right watermark in picture for this video, be sure to do so. We greatly appreciate you. If not, give it a thumbs up if you like this video or any content that we have covered for you. Without further ado, let's get into Hallbrand from Rings of Power. Look, this man has been rumored to be everybody under the sun from maybe a potential wizard, which is one of the craziest theories that I have heard pertaining to him, period, or even that he's a Dark Lord Sauron, which has some credibility, and to another character who's already in Return of the King and is likely who Halbrand is. Look, the theory that Halbrand's a wizard has absolutely no merit or any basis upon anything. The fact that the Lord of the Rings community has floated this idea may just go to show just how much they are against Rings of Power and everything that it has put out. They do not like that there is a lot of free writing being done in this that is not direct from Tolkien. They don't like a lot of character adaptations. They don't like a lot of the changes that we've seen. And I feel like them floating around the idea that he's a wizard is just far-fetched to an extreme. And has no weight in my mind, can't accept it, tossing out the window right here, right now. However, the credibility that he could become a Sauron is somewhat there. I mean, Hallbrand himself says, I am the true king of the Southlands. Uh, Sauron believes he's the king of all. That is the base similarity there that they have going on. Uh, they definitely both have Sir Morgoth at one point in time, which is a huge connecting point to their third fan theory. But at the same time, I don't think he truly holds water because if Hallbrand truly was the Dark Lord Sauron, he would be doing far more nefarious things than what he is doing at this point in time. He would not be slow playing it, and Adar immediately would have recognized him as something more than what he is. And that, to me, speaks volumes of what we got going on here. But the true theory that I'm absolutely on board with, Hallbrand, Ghost King. From Return of the King. And you're wondering, why would they go so far-fetched for this particular character? Well, A, Ghost King's not really well fleshed out. B, all we understand about this king is that he was once a follower of Morgoth, similar to Hallbrand. B, eventually swore loyalty and fealty to Isildur, which, you know, he's just met him. In Rings of Power, if you're up to date on the show. So that definitely definitely could be a thing at this point in time. They have that going on. And then ultimately, we have step C. When called upon to vanquish Sauron, he breaks his oath and then is cursed. And ultimately, you know, broken in Return of the King, but, you know, a couple thousand years of punishment seems pretty adequate in my mind, don't you think, viewers at home? Um, so that is the theory that I hold, think holds most watcher at this point in time. I'm curious to see how they go about bringing on Halbrand as this potential person. But if you'd be so kind, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Leave your thoughts in the comments below about what got right, what I got wrong. Some fan theories of your own about characters you have going on. Or just about, you know, my ideas of what these theories could be. Which ones hold water in your mind. And which ones are just bad. As always, I'll be looking into getting fiber cable so I can fix my internet. And provide a better quality video for you guys. You guys aren't sitting here staring at a talking circle. Which, you know. Kind of futuristic in a way, but also, man, you better just be playing me as a background right now, or I might just pull the crap out of you. Anyway, here's some other videos for you guys to check out during our 30-day video challenge. Day 10 happens today. I'll see you guys tonight. 
for Andor. Welcome to watching Geek Fair.